The veteran referee, Mr. Rich Mitchell, about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds if they need them, as we remain in the Cage Warriors flyweight division. Michelangelo Lupoli Ready. Ready. in the black Let's go. with the yellow trim. Sheldon Ryan in the gray with light green trim. Sheldon Ryan 5'7", Lupoli 5'5", but that looks a bit bigger than the two-inch height of Spanish to me. Do you know, I said the earlier on that I thought Lupoli, I don't think he cuts much weight, much weight for a 125. He possibly could make 115. Big low kick there from Ryan. Don't forget, folks, our main card, Cage Warriors 168, coming your way live on UFC Fight Pass and international broadcast partners. 9 o'clock UK time. Check your local listings internationally. Playing more action on the prelims, though, including that Fight Pass exclusive bantamweight title fight, Liam Gittins making the first defense of his belt. He does so against Roberto Hernandez. Bad blood to be settled in that one. And a nice combination there from Lupoli. Comes over the top of the right hand, follows him with the left hook. Nice shot here for a double leg takedown. As this Toddy had his hands clasped. Ryan has this overhook on the left side. From, to use that foot to push out the cage. See, that's the problem with an overhook position. It, it's just a holding position. Managed to reverse here, now in 50-50. With Pauli with the overhook on the left side now. Uh, maybe a good thing here for Sheldon Ryan, who got caught by a couple of shots there, to just have this 30 seconds to calm down, get his wits back about him. Yeah, he's doing okay here. He got the reverse and he's throwing some shoulder strikes and some knees up the middle. And Lupoli going to double on the hook. Big hand across the there from Lupoli. Beautiful step across. Huge throw there from the Italian. Yeah, it looks like he's setting up a head now here on the far side. He's got the head underneath. He's got to be careful that Ryan doesn't get back the full guard here with his arm around the neck. Can't remember what way Lupoli finished. Oh, sorry, LeBlanc finished Lepoli down in um, Italy. Was it not, a knockout or a KO? A knockout or a choke? Ah, it was a huge knockout. Huge KO, yeah. Stiff shot up against the cage. I mean, Nicole LeBlanc won one of the heaviest hitters in the Cage Warriors flyweight division. Certainly no shame in that. And probably one of the biggest, too, the one of the biggest flyweights out there. Yeah, Ryan doing a good job of getting his back to the cage here and sitting up. Makes it awkward for Lupoli to get off any um, offense here, uh, strikes. Good job from Ryan, back to his feet now. Yeah, Lupoli going for it. Arm around the back, tries to get um, double on the hooks, our body lock, I should say. Didn't quite get it, and we're back to where we were one minute ago. Nice shoulder strike to initiate the escape there from Ryan. Getting those kicks going. I wouldn't be surprised to see Lupoli come crashing forward with one of those big looping overhands again. I'd like to see him walk in a little bit more rather than trying to close that distance through, uh, through swinging or through, through forcing his way in. I know we said there's only two, two inches in it, but certainly doesn't look like it. But I'd like to see him move his head a touch more, get on the inside, walk the body a little bit, come over the top there from the inside rather than where he's standing on the outside now. Because at the minute he's not even landing his kicks when he throws. Heavy leg kick from the Englishman. 
you can see there he's, he's a little bit out of range and when he goes to the when he went to the body and tried to come over the top he's, he's forcing he's stretching his body rather than taking that step or two in closing the distance and then throwing the shot landing in that wild exchange and that's the first round playing to digest the ball yeah not, not as, um, as easy to score on the, if you're a judge here okay ready ready rich mitchell gets the second round on the way Poli trying for that head kick on the left side there. 10 out of 10 for effort. Oh, that snaps. That right hand in again. Yeah, we're going to do a good job of getting double on the hooks here and forcing the Poli back to the cage. Interesting to see now what he does with it. I'd like to see um, Ryan just get that leg on the inside. Coming around to take the back. Forrest Hook in. You can see Luke Holy trying to pummel his, his right hand in and get it to the far, far hip of Ryan here just so he can square himself back up and just does just that. A solid work here from Luke Holy. Don't hold that glove. Watch your head. It's a funny position Ryan has over the top. You can see him uh, wrapping around the pole's head and catching the firearm. Just put, lets it go there now to get the overhook. I'd like to see uh, Lupoli uh, need a need a leg of Ryan a little bit more, just to create a little bit of space, create a little bit of movement from Ryan, and maybe drop in for a double leg. Ryan gets the reverse here on the cage. Here, Use this position. The majority of Sheldon Ryan's fights have ended early. We talked about that 20-second KO, and his two other victories have come within the distance. One in the first round. He has been into the third round once back in 2002 against Shabir Ahmed Safi. Is your the victory on that occasion with a rear naked choke, so we know he can operate well later in the game. They're yeah. probably trying that throw again. Yeah, didn't quite have the angle that he had in the first to get across the hip. A nice keep there from Ryan. Just caught the poly off balance there. Swing and a miss from the Italian. Sheldon Ryan looking very settled here in the second round. I'd like to see Lupoli. Oh, big right hand there from Ryan landed. Lupoli against the fence. Yeah, it's a bit of a gesture there from Lupoli as if to say, that didn't hurt me, but when you get a reaction like that, usually it means it did. <laughs> that hurt. This is better, better feint here from Lupoli, but he's not doing too much with it. He's not taking that quarter step in to where he's going to close the distance. Ryan charging forward here with a one-two, or sorry, a right-hand left hook. to the body there is the Italian he's gonna have to try and mix things up here he's not having the success in the second round that he had in the first yeah I think it's just a little bit too tentative on the outside like I said he's not closing that distance he's not inching forward he wants to close the distance in, in too big a way and he's getting countered for a boy Ryan every time he talks about the strength of schedule that Lupoli's had since being in cage warriors but he really isn't going to want to drop three straight in the promotion. Big, big fight for him tonight, as it is for Sheldon Ryan on his debut. Ryan with a nice jab, and he's chasing 
circling around the cage after Lupoli. Big swing and a miss there from Lowe. Little backhand from Lupoli at knowledge there. <laughs> Drawing strike there from Ryan. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Quiet. Stay there. Stay there. Good? Yeah? What's it? In. Yeah, the pole is out there. Good to go. Yeah, not wanting to take the time there was Luke Polly. Big wild overhand shots. High pace set and maintained throughout the first two rounds of that one. As we said, Paul Boyd, a high pace set. Both guys going to have to dig deep here in this third round. Yeah, the pole is up here bouncing on his feet before the round even started, so that was a good sign. Question mark kick there, but the pole just doesn't quite land. Fast and furious start to the round. From both men. Lupoli still got power in that left. Big left hook there from Lupoli. Just wobble drawing back. Well, again with the left hand, the shoulder is going to have to be careful here. Going to have to shore up those defences a little bit. My instinct is that he's ahead on the scorecards here. He does not want to throw this away in the third round. Big head kick there from Napoli. Doesn't land quite clean. It lands on the gloves, but you'll still feel that if you're Ryan. I remember talking to someone about blocking head kicks before Paul and the way it was described to me was let me tape a glove to your head and then kick you in the head yeah. and you'll see how much blocking a head kick from... Yeah, you're taking like 0.1% off. I declined the offer, obviously. Oh, nice combination there for Lepoli, two to the body, right hand upstairs. Oh, Ryan fires back with a right of his own. Yeah, well, I just noticed a little tail when Ryan's about to throw a punch, he seems to open his two hands um, just before he uh, throws the punch. There you go, and he drops that right hand. I think that's why Lepoli's been catching that left hook around the corner this round. Ryan still stalking his man around the cage here. Just over two minutes left in the round and the fight. Napoli just looking at the ground and coming up high with the left kick. There from Ryan, I'd like to see him follow in. Press up holding against the cage. Holly blocks that kick to the body. 90 seconds left to play with now and again. Luke Holly reaching out with that big left hand. Still looking for that one shot that could change the game. Yeah, still plenty of time to walk here. Just over 60 seconds. Fingers, Solid connection fingers. from Sheldon Ryan there.
Napoli trying to make it a dog fight with a minute left to go. Bit of showmanship from Lipoli here, trying to bait Sheldon Ryan into making a mistake, perhaps. Good right hand here from Ryan over the top. I'd like to see Lipoli just step in here and point down with the gum shield. I think he's got to go for broke at this stage. Yeah, we're definitely reaching the death or glory stage of the fight for Michelangelo Lipoli. Lands a left again, not enough on it. Final 10 seconds of the round. They're still popping up those big shots. Sheldon Ryan locks up on the cage. And that is all she wrote, folks. What a pace on that one. Yeah, I really enjoyed that fight. Uh, I think, um, in my opinion, Ryan takes that. But not with much. And if he does, I think you probably will feel hard done, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges' scorecards. Our judges' scores contest 29 28, Lou Pauly. 29 28, Ryan. And 29 28, in favor of your winner, by the way, of split decision, in the bottom corner. Lou Pauly takes it Lupoli. on the scorecards by a split decision. Just goes to show you should never listen to commentators when it comes to judging. Yeah, look, look we did say it was razor close. Uh, we're not looking at it from a judge's perspective. We're looking at it from an entertainment perspective. I'm sort of calling what we see, but um, the judges may have felt that Napoli may have been landing the cleaner shots, the harder shots. Some of the more impactful shots of the fight landed by the Italian, and that's what the judges are looking for. Sheldon Ryan are not happy with the judges' decision there. And Paul, as you said, either one of these guys perhaps going to feel hard done by with a loss.